So a couple of weeks ago on Twitter, I noticed someone was making a bunch of tweets sort of bashing on all writers who bash on Trump and who make fun of the concept of 4D chess. And 4D chess is the idea that anytime Donald Trump seems to be backing down to the left or the mainstream right, he's actually engaging in a calculated effort to make them look crazy or to push for something that's even more important. And this guy says that essentially people like us who bash Trump are people who are suffering from Dunning-Kruger syndrome. We think we're much more intelligent than what we actually are. And we're using insulting and belittling him as a platform to sort of feed on our guru complexes and try to make ourselves seem like leaders of the alt-right or people who should be leaders of the alt-right. Now, I can understand why someone would think I have a guru complex, but of course, this wasn't a subliminal on me, and I don't really want to throw shade at him because he actually makes an interesting point at one of those tweets, which is that pretty much the whole election was meaningless. He concedes to this. The 2016 election, like, it didn't matter who won. But what does matter is that Donald Trump managed to make the left and the right look crazy. Which I agree with. Like, he successfully gaslighted some of these motherfuckers. And it's 2018, and they're still gaslighting themselves even more. I'm seeing narcissistic tantrums on boomer media like newspapers and television shows, sports broadcasts that you would typically see on Tumblr, you know, millennial media or Gen Z media, Generation Cyclone media. But they're throwing these narcissistic tantrums that are almost bordering on the type of autism tantrums I'll throw out every now and then. Me being... Autismus Maximus, but they'll be acting like that. They'll be acting crazy, trying to first respond to every tweet Donald Trump makes, trying to bash him, trying to get that blue checker mark, trying to get those favorites and retweets for themselves. And it's like, they're, they're kind of going crazy. Like, we've been seeing stuff from now this. Occupied Democrats and even even fuck hate that just makes them look insufferable. People on the left, people on the right, and all Donald Trump would have to do to incite this is just say something silly like "grab that pussy" or to say, "Well." I don't know why Kim Jong-un doesn't want to be friends with me. It's not like I call him fat and short. And that gets people unironically upset. It makes them flip out. <laughs> Anything he did in, like, that little Puerto Rico story arc, ridiculous, but... I agree. He's good at gaslighting these people, and these people are good at gaslighting themselves. But the thing is, in the alt-right, we're already good at doing this. So I don't see what the point of Donald Trump is. Like, I'll give you an example. Last year, especially with second wave white nationalists, like, yeah, I had this thing called, it's okay to be white. Five words. Put them on a flyer. Hide that somewhere in public. Someone will see it. Or even just post that phrase on social media and watch people flip out. It's almost like the phrase, Black Lives Matter. It's such a neutral, like, harmless statement, but it gets people tight. Or black girls are magical. But this time it's just, it's okay to be white. It's the white equivalent of that. And people look crazy when you say stuff like that. They're like, oh, chill, chill, I agree, but now is not the time to say stuff like that. And I can see how normies would look at that and go, you know, that's 
these people might be mentally ill. Like, there definitely does seem to be a narcissism that is being exposed by seemingly normal people ever since Donald Trump's popularity, but we don't need a traitor like him to you know, bring that out in people, to bring out that anger and the true colors of people, because we still haven't seen Donald Trump's true colors himself. This is a man who clearly months into his inauguration got blackmailed hard like he's clearly been hanging out with that jeffrey i've seen motherfucker too much they got shit on him and that's why in terms of rhetoric he's not the same motherfucker he was in 2015 when we would have needed a guy like that he's subscribing to the religions of zionism and globalism harder than ever. It's as I said before, when you say that you're a nationalist and a globalist, well, you might as well have said, well, I'm a spiritual Semite. You're making claims which showcase you subscribe to something that clearly shows some cognitive dissonance on your part. And you might know that, but you might have no choice. We have all these politicians, from the left wing to the right wing, all these celebrities and thinkers who have the foreign policies of evangelical Christians without being evangelical Christians. They're clearly, like, like the most important thing about that 2016 election when it came to crunch time and voting season, it was when we started seeing all this Pizzagate stuff, when we started seeing that Marina and the Diamonds lady engaging in some type of performance art, which looks like some ritualistic murder. That's the most important thing that we've seen then. And of course, all of that got swept under the rug as soon as Donald Trump won the election. You can showcase that these people get crazy when you challenge their views, but there's some real insanity that we're not seeing right now that I'm sure would upset normies even more than watching people flip out and have eight-year-old kids raising their middle fingers and yelling, fuck Trump. There are things that are not getting accomplished right now because people are focusing on the wrong sacred counts. And if I seem like I'm just using all of these facts to make myself out to be a all-knowing guru that you come to to get some wisdom, well, whatever, I'm not, I'm not as egotistical as some people would try to make me out to be. I know a lot of people who have these views, like me, who are much more knowledgeable, who, it's not about them. It's about justice. Not that social justice BS, that real justice. And if Trump is going to be a coward and a traitor, he's going to perpetuate that injustice, he's not going to drain the swamp, he's going to continue to clog it up, and he's just as much a problem as anybody else, and that's a fact. This has been your boy Mr. Wonka7, suck my dick.